I'm going to show you why I think an RGB video light like this could be the ideal way to improve your creativity and in most cases you won't even have to spend a lot of money. Hey, it's Andre and today I'll be looking at this RGB mini video light and showing you why it has become one of my main creativity tools and has helped me up my game a little bit when it comes to making content for this channel. Every time I create a new video or take a photo, I try to make each one slightly better than the last, focusing on that one particular thing that I may notice from previous videos or photos and having the mindset of making some aspect of it at least 1% better. It may be something that a regular viewer may never notice, but for me as a creator, I want to make the viewing experience for you enjoyable and hopefully make you want to come back and want to like and watch even more of my videos and even subscribe to the channel. With my current setup, I'm working in our smallest room in the house where I'm constantly making little or big alterations every now and again because I may get bored of the layout, so I want to try and make the most out of a small space or just provide something different. I feel like sometimes that small change seems to revitalize my motivation and I get that extra spring in my step to create. If there's anything that you do that gives you that same sort of lift of motivation, just pop it down in the comments below. But anyway, let's get onto this, an RGB mini video light, available in many different brands all over the internet. But I wanna talk about how useful this is for me and how useful one like this could possibly be for you. First things first, if you're just starting out and you want something other than the inconsistent sitting in front of a light natural sunlight look or the main room light look, but you don't have the funds or the need to get a bigger, more fancy light, then something like this could be perfect. It's small, in fact, it's smaller than this iPhone 5C and weighing only 117 grams is pretty much the same weight as the lens on this camera. And I can easily fit it inside my pocket or neatly inside a camera bag, making it much more portable than any studio lights that you may have. In my setup, I have the Elgato key light and another video light panel, both of which are good at what they do. But in terms of their portability, even if I want to go and do some B-roll in another part of the room or in another room altogether, it can be a bit of a pain having to unplug everything, move everything, set it up, do what I need to do, put everything away, set it back up in the original spot. You know where I'm going. But with this having the standard quarter inch screw fitting on the bottom of the light means that I can mount into anything with the appropriate adapter like tripods on a cold tube mount. And even if you want to attach it to a camera setup for vlogging or simple talking headshots like this. Can you imagine putting an Elgato key light on a vlogging setup? The arm ache, how impractical. But if you do want to see my reviews on either of the lights in my setup, I'll leave the links to both of those in the description below. Unlike those bigger, more studio focused lights, this light is able to do much more in terms of light production than those lights. While the key light only has a color temperature range of 2900 to 7000K, to which I use about 5500K for these videos, this light not only has a bigger color temperature range of 2500 to 8000K, which allows you to reach more warmer sunsets or icy Arctic color temperatures, you get a full 360 degree customizable color choice with further adjustments for color saturation and even for the novelty effects choice of 21 lighting effects within seven scenes to choose from so you get options like flash tv screen candle flame emergency services strobe lights fireworks club and even a romantic lighting effect everything can be controlled via the simple to use buttons the on off switch mode button which alternates between cct mode where you choose from warm light through to neutral light to call light with the easy to control adjustment knob and you can also adjust the brightness from 1 to 100 with the brightness dial which is applicable in all modes pressing the mode button again you get to hsi mode where once again using the adjustment knob to select your desired color in this mode if you press in the adjustment knob it enables you to adjust the saturation of the color from 0 to 100 which means you'll find it difficult not to find the color you're after and when you do find that color you're after i find the color production from this small light is really vibrant and room filling in effects mode, all of those 21 novelty effects grouped into seven scenes, which can be toggled by pressing the adjustment knob and navigating through those effects, pressing the adjustment knob either up or down. I find that when using this light in whichever mode, nothing ever seems difficult with the controls on this. Every setting and adjustment you make is easily shown to you on this bright and clear over LED display, as well as showing you your mode, temperature, brightness, hue, and saturation gives you those other essential display features that you would expect, like the current battery capacity and estimated time remaining on that battery, or useful information that is never cluttered on this small display. 
Charging wise, you get a USB-C cable in the box which can be connected to the bottom of the light. It can take about two hours to fully charge the inbuilt 1500 milliamp hour battery from flat, but you can also use the light wired if you're doing those long sessions with the light on. At its brightest, which is 100% at 8000K, you'll only get one hour's worth of battery life, but at its minimum brightness, you'll get a maximum battery time of about 12 hours. And every other setting and effect will be within these upper and lower times. Whichever most mode, colour and brightness you use, you'll always get that estimated time remaining displayed, which is quite useful when you're creating. Even after long use, you'll find only the aluminium alloy body of the light and the LED lights only slightly warm to touch. And with its flicker-free LED technology, it makes this light efficient, durable and ideal for creatives. For me, this light wouldn't replace either one of my two current lights, purely because in terms of intensity and size, you could probably fit about 12 of these mini lights in one Elgato key light. And in terms of lumens that you can produce, the key light pumps out 2500 lumens at its brightest, while this mini light produces 960 lumens which is about 40% of the key light, but it's still impressive for something of this size. This light actually accompanies these two lights because of its brightness and area filling capability. I use it as the blue fill light behind my chair, enhancing the colour separation between me being lit up from the front by my two lights, and the background being lit up not only minimally by the LED lights going around the edges of the room, but now by this mini video light. And when I'm doing my B-roll, this will generally always be either my main key light if I've already got a backdrop, or it'll be the background fill if I'm in a colorful mood. Hopefully this video has shown you why I think having a mini LED light like this should be essential for anyone's camera bag or setup. Even if you're just starting out, or even if you've been creating for ages, it's not even going to cost you that much. And if you want to spend a little bit more money, then some mini LED lights even have accompanying mobile apps and remotes that let you control the functions and modes remotely, with a few more options. But I like this because of its manualness and simplicity. The amount of uses that you could get with this horrendous as you want it to be. Making quick TikTok videos, to making YouTube videos like this one, product photography, interviews, a light for your streaming setup, vlogging in the dark, possibly if that's your thing, and so much more. Press the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure to press the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future direct to your feed. And also press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching the video, I'll see you on the next one.